through them or something. Hey, everybody. Wow, you're already chatting. I'm a little late. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sherry. Um, I was just playing around and then I noticed the clock and it was 2.04. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Looks like we have two Floridians on here. That's awesome. Um, I'm trying a different configuration here in my studio. Oh, here's my Kleenex. <laughs> Still having the allergies. How are y'all doing? Um, and I look kind of like I'm in prison, I think. I don't know. The lighting is weird, but we'll see how it goes. I just thought the background was a little less distracting and my dogs won't be in the background. So we'll try this this week and see what I think. I hope you're all good. I wasn't here Monday. My sister was um, here, so we had a good visit with her. Um, and my mom, we were out and about and enjoying. Um, we had some really nice weather um, while she was here. So we did some shopping. We ate out a lot. Um, so I hope you guys had a good weekend, too. Um, and today is March 1st. Who believe it? I was going to add the new host code up here. It's upside down, but I'll add it in the comments below when I'm done. When you order from me during the month of uh, March, a $50 order or more, you'll get a package of the Fans Baker's Twine. So you get, it looks like Night of Navy, maybe real red and a green, like a mossy meadow. Does it tell us? I'm not sure. Anyway, you... I will send you a pack of the Baker's Twine when you use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I don't know that you're, um, that alerts me when you use the host code to send you the Baker's Twine, if that makes sense. Okay, today is March 1st, so new host code. I'm going to turn the um, camera around. We have online exclusives. Um, Stampin' Up! has started something new. And I demonstrated the Irresistible Sweet Collection last week, and we're going to make a couple of cards today using it. Hi, Laura. Um, I was going to try and share my screen to show you all of the availability, but I'm not sure I have um, if I can do that. Let me try it real quick. If it doesn't work, we'll just get back. Hopefully, we can get back to what we're doing. Let me see if I can put my face here. I might disappear. There's my screen, and I want to go here. Oh, good. I can still see your comments. So let me know if you can see my screen, all the junk that's on there. <laughs> it might require too much. See, it looks like it's freaking out. It doesn't want to open my Google. It's just hopping around. I'm going to force quit that. Let's see if we can do Foxfire. Maybe it'll work better. So you can see my screen. That's good. I'm trying to go online, and this is what I was having trouble with when I was practicing. So you guys are my guinea pigs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Good. Okay. Let's see, um, it's trying, it's working hard. Oh, now we're on the Firefox and I tried to open the um, Google. I'll, I'll quit the Google. Google go away. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go to my Stampin' Up! Um, if it'll go. I should have probably had it pulled up before I came on. Hi, Stace. You made it home. I'm experimenting, but it's not working very well. So I think I'm going to have to practice more because I don't want you guys, I don't want to waste your time. But I wanted to show you all the fun things. Whoop, what's happening? Here we go. 
here we go. This is my Stampin' Up! website. So if you ever want to learn anything about me, my events, or what's going on, um, you can come here. And then when you hit the Shop Now button, this is just really very slow, so I'm not sure it was a good idea. I can see your all's comments. Yeah, this is going to take too long, so I'm going to get all out of here. I'm going to go back to camera. There we go. Sorry about that. I was going to show you guys um, all the different products. Probably tomorrow I'll post a picture. But if you go to um, my website, leslie.stampinup.net, um, hit the Shop Now button and then click on Online Exclusives. You'll see all of the things. I'm going to show you a few of the things today. Um, but... I was going to kind of scroll through so you kind of had an idea. Anyway, remember when we made this card last week, this little um, corner pocket card using the irresistible blooms with that beautiful paper? Well, I wanted to play with it some more. <laughs> so I made this card today. Um, yes, Sherry mentioned the Rhino. They have some great fun new items. I love the Rhino. That is on my list too. I forget what he's called, but he is adorable. And then the coordinating dies. Yeah. Um, so I'll be placing an order later today. My little doggies are in the groomers. So they called me like 45 minutes ago to say they were done. I hate to leave them there, but I had to come on here. I just knew I wouldn't have time to go there and come back. So as soon as I'm done here, I got to go pick up those doggies. Okay, so we're going to use the same stamp set we used last week, which is the Irresistible Blooms. But we did a little um, water coloring and um, emboss resist on this card. This is going to be a, just a simple little card. We're just going to use some ink and um, finish that out. And then I have one more quick card um, to show you after that. So let's get to going here. Accept. Oh, here we go. All right. So I'm just using a plain basic white card base. And then I've cut a three and a half by three and a half inch piece of the um, coordinating that comes with the suite or, you know, it's separate. You can get the whole suite with everything or you can buy the whole shebang like I did. This is the Hello Irresistible um, 6x6. Look at that. And the dies cut out those flowers. And the dies cut out those leaves. Love it when they do that. Anyway, so that's the paper we're using. And that piece measures 3 and a half by 3 and a half. And then I'm going to show you what to do. We're going to make another card with the leftover scraps from that 6x6. Six six. I use this 6x6, six six, I cut a square out of it, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make another card with what's left. So we don't waste a piece of that paper. Okay, and then this piece measures uh, 4 by 5 and a fourth. And then we're going to do some stamping on just some scraps of basic white. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this fun little die. And I've seen lots of things done with this. Um, and we're just going to cut a circle out of this piece of four by five and a fourth inch. Um, soft succulent is what I'm using. I thought it looked really nice with this designer series paper. And I apologize. This is going to shake the heck out of my table. Like I said, I'm trying kind of a new setup here, and I haven't had time to problem solve, so I hope I don't make anybody sick. <laughs> See, there goes the camera. Ugh. I think what I'm going to have to do is figure out how to put the camera on a different um, platform other than this little table. This is just like a little cheap Ikea. Um desk. Oops. 
you guys, if you have your, your own a craft room, like a designated spot, are you constantly changing it up? I, I think I spend more time changing up my, my room and my product organization than I do. I'm trying not to shake the table so bad. It's like we're having an earthquake. I might do the die cutting off the table here in just a second. So we don't get that because I don't want you guys to get sick. <laughs> okay. But this card is going to be so quick and easy to put together. So that's why I decided to do two today. All right, so we have our card base, and then we have this cute little die cut piece. And we want to put the um, our little piece of um, designer series paper just kind of make sure it's going to fit under your window because we could have put a whole piece but why we don't want to waste that paper Stacy says she spends more time organizing things sometimes I'm just constantly changing things up and I can see this camera is not going to work here so I'm going to raise the the die cut piece up with some dimensionals but I'm going to use it just to kind of make sure that my pattern is where it needs to be on the card front by doing that <laughs> okay and then I'm just going to take some um, dimensionals we could use some um, of our um, adhesive strips but I didn't want to take the time to pull them out so we're just going to use some dimensionals and I think we'll be fine and then don't forget you can use your little um, little surround pieces the little strips I've heard some people call them bones they look like kind of bones white bones so you can always use those too I'm gonna use those on the edges here because I just need something very very um, small And this is probably a little overkill, but another thing about this new space is I'm in a real chair. Normally I'm in like a counter stool up high. So this is kind of weird. I feel like my elbows are, <laughs> we'll see if this is going to work out. I don't know. I'm kind of mad that that um, screen share didn't work. I'm wondering if my um, Wi-Fi isn't strong enough, but we have Google Fiber, so. Okay, there's our card base. That's really cute. You could just put a sentiment and be done with that. But why when we can add these beautiful flowers? So I'm going to grab just a scrap of um, basic white. And then the two colors of ink I'm using are Flirty Flamingo and for the leaves Soft Succulent matches our cardstock. And then I'm going to use um, both leaf um, images and both flower images. And these are the red rubber clean stamps. So they're going to make a really crisp, nice image for you. And then we're going to do two leaves. I should have probably done this and cut them out ahead of time. And then the one leaf. That one's a little 
wonky, but I think we'll have that tucked behind a flower and it won't matter. Okay, so we're going to use the coordinating dies with these. So there's one for the big flower, one for the small flower, and then we're going to have to cut these three leaves out twice. And then I always like to use my washi tape, kind of hold everything so nothing shifts in the machine. You can also use like a repositional tape. But I have tons of this washi tape that I need to do something with. So until I run out, I'll probably just continue. <laughs> All right, I think that's all we need to die cut. All right, I'm gonna try and do, well, mm -hmm. I would have to rearrange everything to do it off the table. So again, I apologize. We are gonna die cut this really fast. Try and go slow so it doesn't shake everything so much. Okay. And then we want to do this three leaf image one more time. The next card, we just have to emboss something, so it won't be as bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're just gonna put this together. I just adhered the bigger flower kind of right here. I'm gonna just use a little multi-purpose liquid glue. So it's kind of like that. And then the second flower, I did pop it up a little bit with a couple of dimensionals. And then the leaves, I just kind of tucked them in where they would go. Where they would fit and look nice. I just put a tiny bit of the multi-purpose liquid glue. I put one there. And there. And then this final little my fingernails don't want to pick anything up. They're so short and stubby right now. I just took that one right there. So that, that is it. And then to add a little bling, I just put in some of our adhesive backed um, the gold adhesive backed sequins. Oops. <laughs> I think I put a big one down here. This lasts forever. Okay. 
and I did five. I did five on there. So that is the first card. Now you could stamp anything you wanted in there. This would be a cute little birthday card, um, a hello card, a thank you card. Um, I think it would even be a nice shower card, a uh, wedding shower or wedding card. Um, any, any kind of sentiment you want would work with this one, but the set does come with some really nice, um, nice sentiments and the font is really cute. We're going to use this hello stamp on the next card. So we could stamp that on the big, but I'm going to leave it blank and then I'll put what I want to put on it when I decide what to use it for. <laughs> okay, so that's the first card. Now the second card is going to be Simple Simon Metapyman. It doesn't have hardly any layers. It's it's kind of out of my um, normal range of design. It's kind of a, I got a little glue right there, um, kind of a modern card, but I use the scraps from our, um, after we cut our little three and um, a half inch square out and then stamping up yay let's give them a round of applause <laughs> they brought back our circle punches they brought back the one and three quarters and the two inch circle punch so i thought let's use it so i used the two inch and i could just i just punched three two inch circles out of the remaining um designer series paper that was that we we made our first card with so we we use most of that piece up and then you've got a couple little scraps for for um something else and then i took a card base of the soft succulent and a little scrap of basic or basic black and I'm using this die that came with the um, the bundle to make these um, I don't know little I'm gonna have to get my little adhesive eraser out because I got some glue crazy right there but um, so we're gonna die cut that out but at first I went ahead and embossed this is another one of the um, options for the online exclusives you get three basic I love this kind of crosshatch one um, but I used this one for this card because I just thought well it's kind of floral so we're going to emboss the um, front of this card This is a th these are 3D embossing folders, so they're going to give you a really deep, good impression. Here I go again. Sorry. <laughs> I promise by next Monday I will have this problem solved. And when you're using our stamp and cut and emboss machine, And the 3D embossing folders, you're going to use the platform number one and then the gray platform number four. If you're using a different manufacturer's um, die cutting embossing machine, you'll have to, um, you know, play around with the, um, the depth and everything that you're going to need. Isn't that pretty? Love that. I think these would make pretty Christmas um, backgrounds because I think they kind of look like poinsettias. They also look like um, starfish, too. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? She's making cards with this pack and dies. I know. I love this. They're just so pretty. Okay, I'm going to use this um, die cutting machine one more time. <laughs> and I'm going to use this, um, I don't know what you're going to call it. It's kind of a wall of bubbles. I think it's supposed to re represent some kind of, um, 
I don't know, bamboo? Would it be bamboo? Hi, Kathy Garnett. Okay, can you believe my sister Stacy is on here? And um, she came all the way to visit me, and we were going to stamp, and we never, we never got to stamping together. And she just joined Stampin' Up. We were just so busy having a good time. Should have brought my little um, die cutting brush over here. Okay, this is kind of a fun little um, die, especially when you're going to um, adhere it to your card. <laughs> there, it's kind of hooked together, but not all the way hooked together. So see how that is? Isn't that cool? It reminds me of the '70s when. Um, Remember when people had beads hanging down? I think we had a see-through kitchen window to the dining room, and my mom hung beads, I think. <laughs> Didn't she, Stacy? Uh, um, Sherry says she needs the starfish. Yeah, don't you think it looks like a starfish? Um, it is in the online exclusives. Bead curtain. Yes, Stephanie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we had a bead curtain. That's what that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> okay, so I cut it down a little bit to fit the front of my card. And I'm just going to take my little snips. And it gets even easier uh, to adhere to the front of the card because it kind of falls apart. This is when I need to use my little um, trick with my um, plastic wrap to hold everything together. But then to glue it on, you may have an easier way, but I just put a little dot of glue on these little circles. You could also use our adhesive sheets. That would be a nice thing to use to um, for something like this. You really won't need it to be adhered well. But this was good enough for me. Because we're going to put our circles on top of it anyway. <laughs> Stacy said, I think everyone had them somewhere. We were super groovy. <laughs> Yes, we were. The 70s. Those were the days. Okay, and the little oil fountains. Remember when people had those little fountains hanging from the ceiling and the oil? Now I've got it glued here onto itself. Okay, so... I have been listening, and Stacy knows because she was here with me. Um, Spotify has a soft 70s rock or soft rock 70s, and we were listening to that this weekend. So that made us all um, nostalgic. Stephanie had a acrylic spinning chair. <laughs> You were so cool. Oh, and flocked wallpaper. Yes. Our mother had lots of flocked wallpaper. Okay. Okay. 
All right, and then the circles that we cut, I'm just gonna adhere them right on top of our um, beaded curtains. <laughs> When we lived in California in the 90s, it, this, we had bamboo in our side yard, and this kind of reminds me of kind of that. <laughs> the bamboo, the, the print on the paper and everything. Okay. I had my... The um, Stampin' Dimensionals are here somewhere. Because I want to pop this last one up. How does this happen, y'all? It just disappears. Just a second, and I will go grab another one. Oh, right here in front of my face. <laughs> oh, that's always the way. Kathy had flocked wallpaper in the dining room. I remember, I don't know, Stacy, do you remember? We had like a split level house when we were in grade school and my mom had, was it gold flocked or was it even red flocked? It might have been red flocked. Okay, now for the little senti sentiment, I'm going to use the hello. Oh, Stephanie, thank you. Can you send me those Stampin' Dimensionals through the, um, <laughs> through the, um, through the air like, uh, Star Trek. All right, I've got a piece of white to put in the inside of my card I have to cut it down a little bit okay and then I did something a little funky with my um I guess the funky card was getting me in the mood for a little something different on my sentiment tag um it's something that is unusual for me to do it this way But I stacked the white over the black. Ugh, that makes me so mad. <laughs> I pressed too hard. There, that's good enough. So I'm just going to cut this down. And then I'm, I'm just going to stack it kind of like that over the little this is five eighths by I think one and a half kind of like that really no um, rhyme or reason to it Okay, and then I just stack those that right on there with some dimensionals as well. And I just stick it. This is kind of crooked. I'm going to trim that. There we go. And then I added some of those. Um, gold adhesive backed um, sequins there we 
Here we go. Okay, that is the second card. It's more of a modern card, kind of a simple card. If you are, uh, except for the die cutting, if you're a beginning stamper, you could have left this part off. And that would be a real pretty, um, just a simple little card. Um, if you don't have all the, the, the bells and whistles, a die cutting machine or anything, just grab a um, circle punch and um, create the card. You wouldn't have the embossing. You could put just a strip of black cardstock behind there just to add a little um, interest too. So, um, and then I will cut a piece of four by five and a fourth inch uh, white for the inside. And then we can either um, add, I like you, that would be cute, um, on the inside. In fact, let's do that. That would be fun. Because now I've decided I want to stamp a leaf on the inside too. <laughs> so let us cut this four by five and a fourth. And then I will stamp the um, I like you. Here we go. I'll show you guys how um, an easy way to add your stickers to your stamp since we're going to do this and I haven't used this one before. We'll use this one. Hopefully I don't get ink all over my fingers. Too bad. Okay, so your your stamp sets come with these stickers when you get the, the um, cling stamps, the red rubber cling stamps. And on the back of this sheet you can pull the whole thing off. Now this is sticky and it's really sticky, so be careful, but there's a paper backing on this side. So then take your block, and this is just one way to do this. This is, this is the easiest for me to get it right where it's supposed to be. And then peel off that paper backing. And then you're going to peel the backing off your um, stamp. You have fingernails. <laughs> and then you can use your block and just center it right over the stamp. And you get almost a perfect little fit um, to get your stickers on there. And they do stick a, a lot at the beginning, but, but they'll, um, they'll peel off. So that's just how I do it. I thought that was an easy way. I can't remember who taught me that, but I, that's how I, I do it now because <laughs> it was just so much easier. So we got a fresh little stamp here and let's see if I can do it straight. Pretty good. Looks like I need to ink up my memento. And then since we have our leaves out here and the, the um, soft succulent ink, I think I'll just add a little leaf at the bottom. Stephanie loves this font. Um, Kathy, the black is a die. It can't, it's a coordinating die. I threw it somewhere. <laughs> God only knows where it is. Oh, here it is. It is a die. It coordinates with the Irresistible Blooms. So if you buy the Irresistible Blooms bundle, you save 10%. It, it, the dies coordinate with the, the stamp set. So you get the flower dies, the leaf dies, this little... Um, circle that we use for the first card, excuse my arms, this little die, and um, the marbles, <laughs> the marble curtain. Is that what we decided it was called? So funny, an avocado green. Oh, it's just bringing me back. This card could go right back to that decade. And be, be at home there. 
<laughs> okay, those are the two cards we made today. Isn't that cute? It's almost like you could just give them away as a set to people. And then this is the card using that stamp set that we did last week, the um, corner pocket card and that beautiful paper. So there's three different ideas for that card or that, that stamp set. So make sure you go to my, um, thank you, Stephanie. Make sure you go to my um, leslie.stampinup.net and click shop now and then click on online exclusives because that's the only place you can see all these added things. The um, embossing folders I used today, the stamp set and dies I used today, the punches I used today, and there's lots more. There's quite a bit more. Um, a really cute um, rhinoceros um, bundle. My camera is all over the place. We are going to have to fix this. Okay, that's it, guys. I feel like it's Monday because this is the first day I've been in my office for a while. And uh, but it's Wednesday, so I won't see you again till next Monday. Um, if you have any questions or I can help you with anything at all, please don't have hesitate to reach out to me, and we will see you Monday for Make It Monday. Happy stamping. <laughs>